another glorious day nice dry roads 14th of March today 2022 car coming here look at it absolutely lovely Ooh, what's all that on the road? All that mud. Bloody hell, I've not seen a sign either for it. Look at that. That's like sludge. Look at all this. Where's this site manager? Let's have a... Alright! How are you, brother? No, not so bad. Not so bad. Um, where's your site manager? Site manager is just in here, mate. Ah, the first cabin you've, got a ro you've got a road sweeper there, I see. Have you noticed all the, you've obviously noticed all this mud on the road. Yeah. It's lethal. Especially on one of these. I believe so, fella. Yeah, they've got the road sweeper, try and keep it tidy. Yeah, you've also, um, I noticed you've got no warning signs on the road. Not coming from down that way, you haven't. Coming down this road here? Not this this one, but coming down that way from, uh, is it Ragley Way? Okay. Um, i tell you what, man, just pop, pop in there. In that, that first, go take this car park. Yeah. The first cabin. That's where the site manager is. Is he in there, is he? Yeah. He'll be in there, mate, yeah. Alright, I'll have a chat with him. Oh, but if, it's, if, if you have a conversation with me, I'm just on the gate, mate. I can't oh, yeah? be able to give the info. Alright, no worries, yeah, yeah, alright. I'll see what it's like for going in there. This is a better surface on here. You'll yeah, alright. Yeah, alright, I'll go in there. What's his oh, name? Dan. Dan. Right. Oh, cheers. Alright, cheers. <sighs> Is he coming in here? Chatting, there. Yeah, yeah, there's someone looking at me in that shed there. Is he there? He's in there, but he's got some fellas in there with him. All oh, right, okay. I know you've got a road sweeper there, but <coughs> it's uh, especially on that. I know you're just on the gate, like, but yeah. Why is it pretty bad around that on that junction, yeah. I mean, I came from that way, but if you were to come that way and turn left, it's worse than all this. Oh, is it really? Yeah, and you know, four wheels, you don't really notice it, but on two, two yeah. wheels, you, know, you only notice it. Slide, yeah. yeah, well, you only notice it once, and that's when you slide on the deck, like you know. Yeah. Um, it's so is it still out, is it still out that, as it stands yeah, right now? Yeah, yeah. As I turned the corner there, it was worse going up that way, I presume, because obviously the, the vehicles pull out of here and turn left, don't they? They turn right. Yeah, well, yeah. well they, they turn right out of here, yeah. They yeah. Be fine, they don't. Yeah, well, they can't go down there, can they, because of the bridge and stuff. There's a, there's a, a bridge down there, isn't there? Yeah. I know he's probably fully aware of it, like, but... How are we doing, Rob? You all right? You. Yeah, not so bad, apart from... Uh, are you the site manager? I am, yes. I know you've got a road sweeper there. Yes. But the, the road up there is absolutely lethal at the moment. Which whereabouts, sorry, bud? I've come Down from... here, or...? I've come from Ragley Way. Okay. And then turned right to come down here. Yeah. But if you were to come up this way, 
from basically from this point onwards and especially on that corner what with the water you mean or? the water and the sludge yeah I mean I know you've got the sweeper there but it looks seems like all they're doing really is sort of thinning it out and spreading it, should it. Be, it should be cleaning it basically, yeah it's uh, really is um, treacherous all right yeah yeah he should yeah there should be or you should maybe have sort of two rotating you know when there's one on a break or one empty or whatever there's another one it's I know I know it's a building site and you know you no, but at the end of the day we but you do have a duty of care to you know traveling public don't you yeah so I've had a bit of a massive fallout today with the groundwork contractor in relation to the the edges of the road as well yeah yeah and there's it's all the do the heavy vehicles go up that way then do they yeah they're not allowed that way they should, they shouldn't be going that way well one of the, it wasn't one of yours I think one took the bridge down a few weeks ago didn't they yeah I don't think it was one of ours by our yeah it's something basically said it was us and it, it wasn't no it was um, the day when we, we didn't have any big wagons on so ah uh, right okay because there is a sign at the top in the saying it's unsuitable for yeah and I've, I've as daft as it is on my delivery schedule stuff and obviously on my signature on my email is big massive red yeah line, do not go that way do not go that way yeah to be fair to the gateman he doesn't let anybody go that way anyway no no well they'd be daft really i mean if you're driving a big vehicle and you see it narrows that way you'd be silly to turn left wouldn't you yeah. But it's just um, no, really from this point up there, and I didn't, I didn't see any road warning signs, mud on the road and stuff. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get some, I'm not saying they're not further up, but no, I, no, I didn't see them. Sort of. Yeah, but you just need to. Okay. I'm not telling you how to do your no, job no, or out, no, no, but no, I'm concerned for, you know, yeah, one of these you're all right, but two wheels. <laughs> you notice that? Wheel drive. <laughs> well, oh, that's true. Yeah, it's a bit of fun though, isn't it? Um, Watching the snow. No. But with two wheels, you notice it's slippy yeah, yeah. when you're on the deck. Yeah. You know, whereas a four wheel might just give a bit. No, I'll have a word. Yeah. All right. All right no worries. Are you coming over? Yeah. No worries. All right. All right. Have a good day. Uh, well, it's polite enough. Look at it. Watch me fall off now. <laughs> and it's not too bad here, but further up, especially on that bloody corner. It is a gorgeous day other than that though. single warning sign along here it's not on there the daffodils out nice sign of spring on its way
And this was the bridge he was on about. Oh, like we was on about. It wasn't one of their vehicles that hit this. I think it was, um, I don't know what it was, but it was an Arctic. Articulated lorry tried to get over here. side of the road you what the hell he was on his phone day. <sighs> oh, I could carry on all day but I'm not going to today. Just a quick ride out. Check it's not leaking oil. Get the engine nice and warm. Another building site. Sure, 
what they're doing over there. Sight access. Lorries turning. See here, they've got a sign that says mud on the road when there isn't any. Same there. Wonder what's in them tanks. A big one on that one. Oh, well, let's get a quote to uh, repaint this. See roughly how much these are charge out of interest. Body Solutions Parking. Oh, that's plain. Lean over a bit. Where is he then? Full respray. Hey up. Hey Yeah, not so bad yourself. Yeah, not bad. Um, just after an estimate really on a, a respray. Right, on what? On a bike. Do you do one? Not very often, no. Not very often. They're a pain. <laughs> Are they is that because of all the different bits and Yeah, they're just a nightmare. What was he thinking? Just panel one panel or uh, the whole thing, the fairing, tank, right. panners. Yeah, it's not for me unfortunately. In it? Let me have a look at it. I can uh, I just want an idea at the minute, I mean... Yeah. It's, it's not something I do, they're just, there's so much work in them. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have had it painted about 25 years ago. Oh, 
Who did that for you? It was a place in North Wales. Uh, don't ask me their name or something. Yeah. Uh, but they did. Um, this is all the on the original bike. Yeah. These were stickers. Yeah. But they've pinstriped all this and. Uh, there's not many people that do it now, you know. Isn't I me? mean, there's that dream machine, but they're absolute fortune. Yeah. You know, something. Uh, what was you doing? Having all the panels. Yeah, I'd have them all, and ideally, but I can I can buy I can actually buy this is a different fairing. Yeah. Um, I can buy the stickers. Yeah, you can buy. Them. Um, so really, it would be a like um the original colour like a wineberry red. Yeah. A bit not like that a bit lighter. You haven't got one red, but you know the kind of colour. That's the original. Um, I'm just trying to think if I know anyone that does this. Yeah. I have got another bike that I had painted about three years ago. It's a yeah. similar sort of thing. It's a BMW, similar to this. I took it to um, Car Cosmetics, oh, yeah, um, yeah. and they had a hell of a job. And he yeah. said, you know, we don't generally do bikes, but yeah. they took it on. But they had so many, and plus, it, all this is all plastic. But on the other one, it's all fiberglass. Yeah. And this uh, is why people don't like doing them. Yeah, it's it's, it's basically the the labour that goes into them. Is it because of all the? Yeah, I mean, so basically the labour to go into that, obviously if you strip it, it depends if you strip it as yeah. well. Yeah. Obviously if you strip it, there's a lot of labour gone there. Yeah. But there's still loads of labour in basically prepping that one panel up, yeah. priming it. Um, and getting rid of all the old. And yeah, then basically you've got to prep them up because bikes, they've had to be spot on as well. Yeah. You not get a, I mean, I would do all the strip down. I wouldn't bring yeah. you the bike. I'd bring you the panel, and I'd take yeah. you know everything. You'd just get the panels. And you can imagine as well. You see when you you see when you basically have so basically that's one panel. So you've got one, two, yeah. three, four. But you, you know by the time you've got them all set up in your spray bait, you're trying to set them up on trestles and that. yeah. Yeah, I've done loads of them in the past. Have you? But yeah. yeah. You just stand Do you up. just tend to try and shy away from bikes then just because of that? Well, you see, the labour in something like that, in, the labour intensive mm. is, so basically you have to paint it, base coat it, let the base coat go off, put your graphics on, key it all back up. We yeah. have to let all this dry in between and then key it back up and then put a clear lacquer over it. Then you've got to sand them back down and then yeah, wash them all. To get the... You know, something like that. Even if you charge fifteen hundred quid, you yeah. won't be. It's not cost effective for you. Yeah. But you don't really make a lot out of it because the hours you spent in it, you see. Yeah, I mean the the other place charged me a thousand pound to do. They did the bike and they also did the wheels. I mean these wheels, yeah. the different wheels, but they, they they did a cracking job on it. But it did take them a long, long time. Well, this is the thing as well, and you see, he's not made anything. No. So that's what he'll think now. The next one down the line. That's what yeah. I do as well. Sometimes I'll take like one panel on or a couple. Yeah. So say I just needed these painting or something like that or Yeah, you, you know, you, you know you do stuff like that, but even that, it's yeah. like stuff. You can't you can't literally put them on a trestle and it's hard to no. set up. It's right. A bit random, you see. Suppose with a car you don't actually remove anything, do you? No, that's you just right. mask off. You might remove the handles and stuff and yeah. it's in situ. Yeah. All these have to go in different Separate, places in yeah. the day. Then you get over spray coming off one panel when you spray Onto, one panel. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot to go into them. So I'm probably better. What do you reckon finding someone that does specialise in just not specialising bike well, spray? Well, I say there is there is places that do them, but you'll pay the you pay yeah. the premium. Yeah. You know, I know that Dream Machine. I'm sure it used to be called Dream. Machine. Where are they then? Are they uh, local? Are they? Sure. I've just heard of it. Our friends used to take it. And we all used to laugh because. It's basically that expensive, you know, yeah. three, four, five thousand pounds. You know. Yeah, the bike's the not worth bikes, that. You know, that's yeah. the thing. That's what you've got to take into consideration. Yeah. Do you just enjoy it and use it like that? You don't worry well, about parking it up. You know? I have had it for I've had it for nearly twenty five years. It's yeah. coming up for forty years old next yeah. year. Just enjoy it. Yeah, believe it or not, they're not actually worth a lot of money at the moment. In pristine condition, they are. Yeah. But. Even this in pristine condition, you'd only probably you'd probably pay three, four, maybe yeah. four grand. But to get this to that condition, right. it's not just the bottom. I mean, then you you know you're looking at all the framework and the powder coating right. the frame and things, and 
I just enjoy it. That's what I. Yeah, say. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. But I do eventually want to get it. Yeah. Because <coughs> um, it's a, you know it's, it's something like that's a keeper. There's oh, actually yeah, definitely. of this year. There's only one of these in the UK, and that's yeah. this one of this year. I yeah, mean, there's... I, I mean, I love bikes. So, mm. You know, I used to ride bikes when I when I first. Yeah. When I when I couldn't when I passed my test, I was off yeah. the car, but I would love bikes up to that stage. I used to, you know, yeah. at the age of 10 I was on motorbikes. Well that's it, and and my dad's the same, he, well this is one of my dad's old ones, yeah. um, but he's had them and I just grew up with them, you know. I mean I can drive a car, I can drive a lorry, yeah. but nothing is that's to right. that, you know, that is... I'd love to get back on a bike again, Yeah. I, I just get too throttle happy. You, well that's why I have something <laughs> like this, you see, because yeah. it doesn't encourage you to do that. Yeah, that's right. This is happy at 40, 50 mile an hour as it yeah. is at 80 yeah, or 90. Yeah, it's you know, I mean, I, yeah. I, I appreciate things like this. Yeah. I understand what you're trying to do with her as well, but... But, like you say, it's perfectly usable as it is. That's it's right. just... I wouldn't be so bothered if this matched, really, yeah, well, that's you know? I was thinking, why don't you get someone just to do your fairing and yeah. match it up to the others and then give well, it a good polish and, like, touch it all up? Well, the right? reason that's like that is because I did sell this about eight years ago oh. and as you can see yeah. the guy dropped it so it landed on that and it also landed on the old fairing and put a great big crack down here yeah so that's the other option then I mean that's repairable isn't it it's to go on the... that's um, actually that? been repaired the tank was leaking at the seams yeah. so you see that's the other thing maybe it's better to just perhaps get this done yeah. in this colour. Probably would. Have you still got the original colour? Uh, it, it was it's actually a Ford colour. Yeah, it looks like Imperial Blue or something. something like it is something like that because I wanted yeah. when I when I painted it originally, yeah. this is going back twenty five years, I wanted it um like an R one blue. Yeah. But apparently the bike paints are more expensive than the car it's paints. Matching it now if you ain't got the exact colour that's yeah. the problem you're gonna have. Yeah so would would you take on just this then? Um, no. No. Is, again, <laughs> it's is it, just because you won't match it. Yeah. You will not match. So you'd that. have to really, with that paint being so old now, you'd have to really do yeah, the I mean, lot. You could probably get something similar. You know, you can take it down and they can like put a, a, a gizmo on it, and it does. And bring it. Yeah. Kind of match it up to what it is, but you'll never get it hundred percent. Yeah. So maybe that's another option then, and then just buy these stickers, and rather than alter anything here, just put the stickers back on the fairing, mm. um, and then perhaps just get that tidied up. It's a, I say it's a shame, you know. I, I do. Mm. It's just not cost effective for me to do stuff. You know, you yeah. Could, you could spend a full week on that, and you just don't end up with the money to basically pay for your place. Pay for and, your, you know, yeah. I'd rather be honest with you. Yeah, you? yeah, yeah, of course. If you're a big company and you've got loads of lads working for you, yeah. you can, but you, you know, can dedicate someone on the time and you spend yeah. two or three days on it and then... That's it. I mean, what, it, <coughs> what I said to the other guy that did the other bike was I wasn't yeah. in a... Because I had this one, I wasn't in a rush. I yeah. said, just leave it and do it as you can, like. But it, it took him six months. Yeah, I, I, I didn't mean that long. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's kind of summer's it. over now. I won't, I won't lie to you, I get it all the time. Can yeah. I leave it with you? Know, well, you don't... Because you don't realise it's like... Yeah. I've got, I've got ten other jobs, plus everything that I've That's got right. in as well for the rest of the month, you know. And you've only got limited space yeah, as well. Yeah, it it's... <laughs> it's, it's funny because like what you say it, we all we all do it in this yeah state. yeah yeah it's you a know, usual it's, thing isn't it with a garage or anything you know i'll leave it with you you know yeah we'll, and the thing is as well with paintwork if you could do all that work yeah you get it in the spray bag you paint it it only takes one little bit of shit or something yeah. to ruin your job and you have to start again yeah and that's a different that's the thing with obviously having so many different panels mm. You know, you're basing that up, basing that up, you come back round and there's a little bit of, it floats in the air, it does all sorts. Of course you know. it does, yeah, yeah. It yeah. has to be so clinical. Because I suppose it's like painting a different vehicle to yeah, each panel, right. isn't it? You know, rather than on a car, you sort of, you do the side, I don't know how you do it, but you do one corner yeah. bit and then you... This is something for when you retire. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you've got another bike and you do do what you want to do to it. That's it's right. completely strip it. Yeah, ideally that's yeah. what I want to do. Ideally, 
with the, I mean obviously it's going to cost a lot of money I want to strip it right down to the lovely. frame it'd be lovely it yeah. really would it would be really worth doing it mm. it's like you say they're not worth anything at the moment but these no. are coming into a classic yeah well next yeah. year it'll be tax exempt you know this, especially the old Hondas people love them don't they do they? yeah they're anything 70s lovely. and 80s even the cars I mean like that GTE and yeah. you've got a Cavalier on there yeah I've got all sorts you know, the, I love all my old stuff I do and they're so much easier to work on you know, yeah, I was brought up with this kind of engine, you yeah. know, carbs, ignition, not That's all this right, fancy, there's no electrics on this, yeah. well apart from the uh, lighting and the, the temperature gauge, that's about that's it, right. you know, that's the only, the only sensor on it is the temperature gauge and the oil pressure, it, it's you've just, got, you've got to, it's a labour of love as well, you know, like it is. you start it, you've got to like know that, Oh, yeah, it might take me a couple of years, but I'm just going to plod on at it and yeah. don't get disheartened, and then they all end up, you know, in bits and get sold off. That's what I don't want to do. No, you see, I don't right. want because you see it, you know, uh, projects and all yeah. this kind of stuff that have sat in garages for four yeah, years. I've and myself. yeah, <laughs> once you start stripping them, that's how they tend to stay. They are. So <clears throat> that, until I can actually get it done. It's staying as it that's is, right. you know. So at least Enjoy I can still it. use it. Yeah. Enjoy the old gear. Yeah. Oh, it's. Uh, <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, I've been to Wales and all sorts of uh, down the south yeah, coast well, and things on it. Things. Yeah, I mean, considering its age, it's done 80,000 kilometres, which is about 50,000 miles. Yeah. But in 40 years, you know. No, it's nothing, is it? It is you nothing. Get it serviced, or is it I do it myself. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's so easy. I mean, you know, the oil filter's right on the front <laughs> there next to the clutch, drain plugs underneath. I wouldn't know where to start. Plugs are here. It's yeah. just so easy. You so know, like simple. You say, once you do it once. Yeah. You know, I have to just it's keep on top of that, aren't you, really? Oh, aye. And the minute, you know, you take the tank and seat and covers off, they come off in two minutes. Yeah. You've got access to the whole thing. Mm. We've actually had the engine out of this and on the bench and split here. Yeah. Whilst it's still been warm. It's been split and the engine's <laughs> still been warm. It's that easy to take. You've got your mounting bolts there and you've got two I'd under it. to see it all night. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I one day then. You know, maybe one day. Yeah, um, might, might try in a few years, and I might be slowed down myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but in the meantime, then maybe just try and get this to, maybe, to match but it some don't look close. Out of place. I mean, it, uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It looks period to what it is. That's right. Yeah. And yeah, from a distance, you, it kind of. If you painted that, would it would it would it look too flashy if you get? Maybe because it's got the new paint yeah, on it, hasn't it? Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah. I mean by that? It might, but it might be too much blue. Yeah. I, I mean that's it just complements it. Someone rattle can that, haven't they? Yeah, I can see it's rattle can, but it just it's not it a terrible can't, it job. It kind of complements it, yeah. it, being a different colour. To be fair. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. You it's know, just you have it all that colour, and you think, oh, I don't know. I, I, I like yeah. It. I like it. It is. It's um. Well, it's, it's honest, got. Isn't it? it is certainly is honest. Yeah, yeah it certainly yeah. is. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. Sometimes you, if you lose that. Yeah. It, it spoils them. I well. Think. That's what people have said to me, you know, be careful what you do with it because it's it's yeah. a used bike, it's that's right. it's a work, you know, if you get them too pristine, you don't want to yeah. use them, do you? You don't want to use them and they just don't look right. I don't it? want it showroom condition because you'd be too scared, I mean days like this, yeah, but yeah. you won't want to take it anywhere, you, you know. You'd be you too worried about it. someone bumping into it or dropping it or, <laughs> at least if I did drop it, yeah. you know, it, it's going to yeah, scuff it, but it. no. And it starts on the button all the time, so, you know. Yeah, I just thought I'd have an idea. Yeah. I mean, I only live in Stenson Fields, so. Was, uh, I would say if I would, you know, it was bits and bobs, but. Yeah. I don't know, they just. I always. I always I'm not ignorant to people, and I'd come out and. So be honest, chat with yeah, you, yeah, you know? yeah. Well, I'd rather that than yeah, you take the job right. on and then halfway yeah. through and say, you know what, I don't want to do I've this. Just got, what it is, I've got stuff lying around me at the moment. Yeah. I mean, that's only just a couple of months. And it, yeah. What it does, I hate that. I, you feel like you've got to yeah, get it you know, done. Yeah, and then people come, oh, is it ready? And it's like, it gets you yeah. all, once they start saying that, it gets you all flustered inside and you're like, oh. <clears throat> well, I was, to be honest, I was a bit like that with the other one. I mean, I said to him, take your time. Yeah. But once I'd given him the bits, you yeah. know, as a customer, you want to know. No, that's right. I know I said, take your time, but how are you getting on? And then you, you know? ring them at the first couple of times, you're all right. But then you're like, oh, you said I could have, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Then you start getting a bit of a. That's it. I've done it myself before. Yeah. And I try, that's why I try not to do stuff like that anymore. Yeah. 
So it's purely with bikes. It's purely the fact that there's so many different panels, it and it's not more the shape then, is it? Yeah. It's well, it is as well. You know, painting them, you've got to do them right. You get any yeah. ones in them or out. You just put, suppose, you know. yeah, because given all the contours and stuff, it would yeah. be easier for the paint to run, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. You know, you've got to be really on your game to do this. Yeah. Um, yeah well. You know, you've got to be really clinical because mm. they say they show any little bit of dirt or yeah or anything that's in them. They do, that's true, yeah. Some of the things you can kind of mask, but motorbikes, well, people are very anal on motorbikes. They are, you know? yeah, they are. I mean, I must admit, if I did spend all that kind of money on it, I would be a little bit yeah, like myself, you know, because you'd, you'd spend two grand or whatever it would cost, you know, you'd, Even you'd want like it. Even like polishing the bits as well, like coming down to, say, you polish that mug, that mug or say, I've painted it and done yeah. it, and I, your wet flatten back, it's called colour sanding, then you have to polish it. The, the buffer's spinning round at um, basically, say, yeah. 1300 RPM. You're polishing it. Y you can't hold the actual panel down. No, that's right. You've got to, and you, you can't know, clamp it, so I suppose. So you've got to make holding it. You can't clamp it. You've got to be very careful. Yeah, and, and they're not ago, very strong, really. You're polishing it, boom, off the flipping thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and start the job again. Yeah, it's just <laughs> silly little things like that. Yeah, I suppose, and perhaps getting in here as well. Getting around there and things, you know. Yeah, well, that fairing would have to be tucked right back down, re oh, yeah. and then redone again yeah. by wet flatting. Yeah, so um, you'd have to take all this old paint off, would you? Yeah, I, well, I would if I was doing yeah. it because it'll react anyway when you put the good stuff on. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea how old this paint is. I have no idea. Yeah, I bought, but well, basically, I bought the fairing. I got the fairing, I got two panniers, a yeah. set of seats, uh, other bits and bobs. Off, um, it was a guy that was like cafe racing. Oh. His he had the same bike, yeah. and the registration plate was two numbers different to this one. <laughs> and he was only in Mansfield, um, but he bought the bike with all this on it, and he didn't want any of it, you know. So I got the whole lot for 160 <laughs> quid. Yeah, I mean, you can't get them panniers for loving the money, no, and I've got right. four in my garage. <laughs> well, two in my garage <laughs> and two on here. <laughs> So, the, you know, I could also put the other bits on and match it all up to yeah, this. that's right. But oh, that's I a much nicer like colour. Yeah. <laughs> well, I say I think it complements the two. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. And no one's, you know, people have always said, well, I want to put it on. Oh, yeah, it does look miles better, you know. But it was dead loose yeah. because it was cracked and yeah, you can't do anything with it, can you? <laughs> Radio cassette. Oh, aye, cassette player, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, does it all work and everything? It does, yeah, yeah. The, the reception's not great no. because it's analogue and you can yeah. only preset certain stations yeah. and then obviously you go under trees and stuff like that. <laughs> dinky little aerial on it. Um, <laughs> but that, again, when we first got the bike 30 odd years ago, my dad got it and then he'd give it to me, that was nicked. Yeah. Someone nicked, and I managed to source one of these oh, yeah. a couple of years you back. You could source one now, wouldn't you? No, right? I mean, it's a genuine Honda one. Yeah. Um, it's bloody brilliant. So I'm always I'd paranoid. I'd go and good some bike meets and just show it like that. People have I have. That. Yeah, yeah, well, there was up at, you know, at Clay Cross, yeah. up at uh, near Chesterfield, there's yeah. a great big bike shop. I um, oh. can't remember what it's called now. Yeah, yeah, I know I know what it was called. Yeah, I can't remember what it is. Um, CDJ or CC. Yeah, I think C I've been up to it yeah. years ago. But I was going past a couple of years ago. I'd put all this on and I was just going up the A61. And I saw all these bikes in there and I thought, oh, yeah. it's Sunday, you know, I turned around and went in. And as I got to the gate, they were actually doing an 80s classic, 70s <laughs> and 80s show. And oh, he said to me, uh, <laughs> what year's your bike? He says, I said, it's an 83. I says, you wouldn't put it down there and show it for us, would you? You yeah. know, and there's people taking photos of it. And even in this oh, condition, man. you know, and it was good that, but yeah. you've got to be with it all the time. Because you <laughs> in a show, people want to sit on it oh, and yeah, yeah. push it and, you know, you know it's, it's, <laughs> but uh, there, there certainly is a head turn of some places definitely, you go, you know. Definitely. You go up to Matlock Bath on a Sunday, you don't see another one of these. No, that's right. Never. And this is the 650cc. Yeah. The main, they made the 500 for four years, I think, but they only made this for two, between 82 and 83. So depending yeah. on when it was registered, there are some 86, but there's still the earlier bike, you know. Brilliant. Just to um, say, enjoy it. Oh, I. <laughs> I will, yeah, but thanks right. for being honest, You're anyway. Welcome, mate. You know, probably sorry I can't do it. Yeah, no worries. Anyway. It's, uh, hey. What's your name? Stefan. Stefan, I'm Martin, mate. I'm a, yeah.
Um, I'll, I'll, I'll remember that bar now. I yeah. Up, when I'm up my lot, if you're up there, I'll, I'll say, I'm Yeah, that that's it, yeah. Yeah, that's one I couldn't paint. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, at least you're honest and, you know. I can, but it's hard to say. Yeah. Them, it just not comes to the That's right. But, like you said. If I was doing it as an hobby at home, which I will do one day, yeah. maybe I would. Oh, when you do that, let me know. I if I've still got it, it I'll, uh, I'll come back to you. Yeah, you'll have to <laughs> yeah, we'll do. If I get it painted, I will. I'll bring it yeah, round and show it. you. No yeah. Problem. All right. Care, Cheers, Martin. Right. <laughs>